there it's tanya gabrielle wealth astrologist welcome to star codes this is the podcast where we look at an upcoming event both from the astrology and numerology perspective and this gives us a beautiful heads up in terms of the codes and the meaning of the planetary event and in this case it is the virgo new moon it's very exciting this new moon because of a sacred geometric shape that is formed by five planets so i'm thrilled about that now it happens on september 15th universal time at 2 40 a.m that's in london but in the americas it happens september 14th 9 40 p.m eastern time and 6 40 p.m pacific time so we have two dates actually the 15th expresses the spiritual alchemist which is such a beautiful number and the 14th of september adds up to 21. 9 14 20 23 adds up to 21 and that's actually quite significant because this new moon happens at 21 degrees virgo where the sun and moon will be and not only that mercury stations direct and mercury is the ruler of virgo so ruler of this new moon Mercury stations direct at 4.21 p.m. Eastern time. And so 21 past the hour, that's 1.21 p.m. Eastern time and 9.21 p.m. Universal time on September 15th. So not only is the new moon Universal time on the 15th and Mercury, the ruler, moving direct at 21 past the hour, but on the 14th, the universal date is 21 and this new moon is at 21 degrees so why is 21 so important well we're in the 21st century and 21 happens to be the description of these hundred years that we are living in and it is the number of the truth shall set you free so all hundred years is literally about being set free and i'm going to touch on that subject a bit later on because of a particular planet that's helping with freedom in this case so we have an incredible setup here between the sun and moon and uranus and jupiter there's a double trine or i should say quadruple trine because we have four light bodies here the sun and moon and uranus and jupiter all forming trines to each other amazing they're all in earth signs uranus and jupiter are currently in taurus and of course virgo is the other earth sign and then we have the third of three earth signs activated because pluto recently retrograded back into capricorn and is at 28 degrees capricorn still going retrograde and capricorn is of course the third earth sign so we're, we have this incredible grand trine which you can see it is marked in green it looks like a green triangle and the planets are marked so you can see all five being engaged and this is really really fortunate it's magnificent breakthrough energy breakthrough because of uranus it's inspiring energy it governs fortunate outcomes jupiter it really lets us look at our beliefs and decide which ones we want to activate jupiter rules beliefs as well and faith there's excitement there's enthusiasm there's transformation especially regarding new projects and implementing fresh starts because it's a new moon now there's also an opposition from the sun and moon to neptune which is important because neptune is in its own sign of pisces and we just had the pisces full moon at the end of august the seeds are being planted and we're able to transmute and literally grow from what Pisces and Virgo are bringing to us they are mutable signs they tend to bring change they tend to really show us that there's growth to do listening to do intuiting to do and of course Virgo is all about health healing the bounty of earth being grounded being meticulous doing research this is a wonderful sign for discovering the gifts of the planet earth the crystals, the flowers and nature, the aroma, the essential oils, everything that is coming from earth is blessed 
by the sign of Virgo. And Virgo also is all about editing and making sure things run smoothly and efficiently. And because of the connection to health, it governs herbs and tinctures and acupuncture and acupressure and reflexology and any kind of body work and everything that you're putting into your body, the food you eat, the the water you drink, the air you're breathing. So Virgo really is about that growth cycle and mastering self-awareness. So self-growth and self-awareness are big. You're really being called to be of greater service as a result of becoming more aware of the things in your life that are helping you see more clearly. So this is all about welcoming journeys of self-discovery. Also, Virgo, because it's an earth sign, just like Taurus and Capricorn, it governs your actual physical environment. So cleansing your environment, doing a feng shui of your home, your office, your kitchen, your closets is a good idea. Clearing your headspace, you know, Mercury being the ruler of Virgo and currently still being in retrograde during the last hours of its retrograde during this new moon, literally hours later it stations direct, but it is at a standstill and Mercury means the the way you think, the thoughts. And so not only clearing your envi- environment, but clearing that space as well. Physical exercise is also governed because of the diet and the healthy habits and being helpful, being kind, being available, having a lot of discernment and focus. And one thing to focus with with Virgo and to watch for is perfection. Virgos can be perfectionists. So yes, it's good to have everything in its place and having order, being organized. But when you get into the worrying about things or being a workaholic due to the perfectionistic attitude, being critical, that those are the shadow side of Virgo. And we have to be aware of the shadow side of every number and every sign and every planet because that's how we learn, that's how we grow. So watch for those. Now, Virgo likes to bring order out of chaos. It likes to see how the pieces fit together and create healing. And so if you're wondering in the times that we're living in, especially in the 2020s, where everything is changing and seems topsy-turvy and even upside down, what is happening, what it means, Virgo's qualities of moral integrity and responsibility and reliability and being of service come into play because truly we are living in times where we are being called to be spiritual pioneers and remember that Neptune is opposite this Virgo new moon and Neptune is all about spirituality and being in touch with the more galactic part of our consciousness. So we are being called to be spiritual pioneers, opening up new territories, and those territories govern a massive shift in perception. Truly, that is the main shift that's going on, is our perception of what is happening and adjusting that and broadening it. The the main discovery is taking what we're experiencing learning from it, and then our ability to shift our perception about it. So everything that may feel absurd or unprecedented during these times is happening for a reason. We are in the midst of shifting from a very rigid, linear, restricted, controlled way of living. And so expressing ourselves into an opening of our perception, a widening of our perception, will then allow us to function at a higher level and in much greater and powerful ways. So this is very important to understand how powerful you truly are. And at the same time, Virgo, because Virgo is a sign of being in service, governs kindness and innocence and humility and respect and reverence, the reverence of earth, for example, and the purpose for living. 
those are always available to us in order to expand and they must be part of the empowerment process so the empowerment doesn't turn into an ego trip. So we are being tested now to shift our perceptions and Virgo is really the perfect sign to remind us that thought creates. Virgo is meticulous, it's ruled by Mercury, the mind, and thought creates, we create our own reality. And the way we experience this is that what we create is always mirrored back to us. So reality is actually a mirror of what it is that we already created. So anything that we decide to create, to work on, to believe in, that is how we empower ourselves. We have the power to create on infinite levels. And so just remember that this power ends where fear begins. That is a saying, I don't know where it's from, but it's very important to understand when fear starts creeping in and you start to be concerned about things, that's when power is lost. So our challenge now is to be free from that sense of foreboding and fear and instead just see that everything that's happening no matter how crazy it feels how absurd it feels and unprecedented it feels that we need to experience it because it is mirroring back to us what we need to see and then we understand that we can create anything that reality is truly a mirror and so once you decide you can create anything you will create it so our challenge then is to gain that freedom to gain that freedom to know that we are that powerful and uranus i mentioned earlier there's a planet helping and uranus being trying to this new moon with jupiter at his or its side <laughs> um, uranus and jupiter together are extremely lucky and so this is happening in Taurus and it's trying to this Virgo new moon. So this is truly the invitation to take freedom seriously, to gain back your sense of freedom and fearlessness. And then having the trine to Pluto in Capricorn, Capricorn really being the sign of the patriarchy, of, of building things that last, of careers, of public recognition, Capricorn is being transformed and has been transformed by Pluto since 2008. And this is Pluto's last sojourn until November of next year. Pluto's still going back and forth between Aquarius and Capricorn, but this is really a big moment for Pluto to be in this grand trine, Earth trine, with this new moon and with Uranus and Jupiter. So Pluto and Capricorn is totally rebirthing, transforming, destroying and rebuilding the structures that we have relied upon for so long. And so Pluto is helping us regain that freedom through that process. And Jupiter is reminding us, Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar system, that there's always a bigger picture and that things are not always as they seem. Just like Neptune, Neptune in Pisces opposite this new moon, things are not always as they seem. There can be illusion and delusion and we have to have the clarity of mind to be open to see that. So we're shifting our perspective from linear living into multidimensional expression. And that's not always easy, right? We're used to linear. We're used to going from A to B and not considering a whole palette of colors that are alive around that road from A to B. So Virgo, the sign of health and healing, reminds us to keep our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies tuned so that they are in flow, so that they are in harmony. And the opposition to Neptune means that the truth, 21, is often hidden behind a veil. It's not always clear. So Neptune gives us the intuition to see if something is a certain way when actually it is not, we can see that through our intuition. We can see the truth. So another thing to remember, because September in 2023 is a 16 universal month, 16 also governs sudden big 
surprises that are only navigable through your intuition, if that is a word. <laughs> uh, so you need to tune into your heart-centered space. This will be very important to not get into that place where you are in the illusion or wishful thinking, right? And Neptune is about sleeping more as well, taking a time out and listening to something beautiful, looking at something beautiful, creating something beautiful. And the same time, Mercury, the ruler of the Virgo new moon is, is retrograde. So we need to really pay close attention to what's happening within, to our spiritual nature, to get out in nature. Remember, this is an earth sign. This is very important to be in touch with nature. And by doing so, really listening to our inner voice. This is all calling you in a big way. So looking at your creativity is important, your imagination. They need to have a bigger role in your life for this perception to shift, to become bigger, right? So one more thing on the 15th, of course, you know, Mercury is stationing direct and it is an important day because that is when the Virgo new moon is exact universal time. 15 is the spiritual alchemist. So the magic is there. And because the sun and moon are also trying to Uranus, they're really a degree apart for this trine. So it's a very close trine. This is a wonderful moment of being able to change, to shift, to reform. Uranus is all about the future and discoveries. Mercury stationing direct is bringing a new cycle. Remember Venus stationed direct on September 3rd and 4th. So this is very important to just go with the flow at this time. And the new moon is a new cycle. And Uranus conjunct Jupiter is lovely as well. So you feel optimistic. You feel like you can create successful outcomes now. This is very important to have these beautiful planets, Jupiter and Uranus in a conjunction. It will continue, even though they will drift apart. They'll both be in Taurus uh, for the better part of a year. And so even going into the spring of 2024, we're going to again experience these conjunctions between Jupiter and Uranus. So it's a it's really the initial activation of that conjunction, this Virgo new moon. So it's a birthing of it. And again, it's lucky break. So really focus on that. There's a lot of higher learning with Jupiter as well. There's a lot of abundance with Jupiter. So higher learning about abundance and that it is plentiful and that it is truly you create your reality, right? So we love everything about this new moon and every all the planets that are activated, all the signs that are activated. There's somewhere in your chart where this is going to be creating some blessings for you, whether it's water signs that your planets are in or earth signs, and that's six signs altogether. So there's something being activated in a beautiful way for you. And to discover more about your own blueprint, including your numerology, your destiny, your purpose, go to starcodeclass.com and you'll even have your astrology chart looked at when we go through that masterclass. It's free, it's fun, you get a handout, and basically you get to know your numerology and astrology codes. And you get to not only understand yourself better, but understand the people in your life more as well. So enjoy that free masterclass at starcodeclass.com and I wish you a beautiful Virgo new moon. Lots of love.